This one is Ostrostipa verticillata, or slender bamboo grass. This is actually a cool season native grass. Most, the vast majority of native perennial grasses are warm season, but it puts on most of its growth during the, um, the cooler months. It can actually grow up to two meters high. It's more often than not found under and around the base of trees, so it, it tends to like areas, presumably, of higher organic matter. This one's growing quite happily on its own in the open. The inflorescence on the slender bamboo, um, there's, there's whirls of branches up the stem and the individual, in each individual branch supports a number of um, individual florets as, as well. So they're all single florets. As the inflorescence matures, the, the awns get longer and um, get that that bend about half the distance along the awn. So the seeds are actually quite small and the awns are maybe, I don't know, 10, 20 times larger than the actual seed. So it's quite a, a delicate, um, delicate seed arrangement and, and produces a large amount of seed. Another feature of um, slender bamboo grass is that um, it can tend to clump and, uh, and branch at the nodes. It's not a common feature of um, most grasses, but, um, but this, this is one species that, that does actually branch at the nodes quite readily. Slender bamboo is more often than not looked on as being a particularly desirable species. I tend to actually quite like it. It produces a good volume of leaf material and it's certainly quite palatable, most particularly in the cool season before it actually puts up so many seed heads. The, um, the actual quality of the leaf is, is quite high in terms of nutritional value, um, but again it probably produces a relatively high stem to leaf ratio, so um, the amount of leaf compared to the stem is, is probably lower than, than other species. If they're not managed or, or grazed um, appropriately, they have the capacity to, to develop into a, a very large and simultaneously unpalatable plant if they're left untended.